three, trust and collaborate. And then you're going to err, fail, persist, and then pay it forward. Also, ah. you get free coffee, free beer if you take somebody to different Hey, places. free coffee and free beer. So, this one's for you. So, uh, <laughs> what it feels like in Reno and what you're doing. You know, doing. The, the community is, is coming together. Four years ago, there really wasn't a community. When I, I moved to Reno in 2011, there really wasn't that community feel. It was a bunch of individuals trying to do independent things. But now we have this really robust ecosystem. We're all working together. And there's this vibe, right? I mean, we got Tesla, right? Yeah, you did get a Tesla we, thing. That's we, a big thing. Yeah, yeah. We're, we've, we've, Switch is going to build the largest data center in the world up there. Apple just announced. Google just announced. So we're going to have more data center space in Reno than the rest of the world. Combined. Really? So Switch is, I guess I know about the Switch. Three data million center. square feet ah, data yeah, center. They do big things, big yeah, things. Yeah, so Very cool. we, we see that as kind of the carrot yeah. to get smaller entrepreneurs Startups. Okay, so anybody who's watching, like we have, a, we have a cable TV channel here in Vegas, right. but we also have some people in the Philippines who watch the show, and right. we've got all these weird social media things going on. Right. But for people who are interested in it, what should they know about um, Reno right now? You know, I think that it, we're trying to reinvent ourselves, and we're trying to be the poster child for reinventing a new economy in, in an area that, is, that has been really kind of going down over the last few years because of the economy. So we're really trying to rebrand yeah. re ourselves. So you've got a, yeah, a lot of people from the Valley have second houses out there. So right. they have a presence, and it could be a great connection for Yeah, them. I mean, so. my entire staff on right. at the Cube is all expanded. Right, and why not, be, why not be North and South, you know, Nevada versus California, right? right? Exactly. For both. Right. I mean, if you look at it, there's been this rivalry between Vegas and Reno. But the rivalry needs to be between Nevada and California. Yeah, we've got to so, hate someone. That's yeah, the important exactly. part. Exactly. Yeah. We need to have a mutual enemy. <laughs> and they ever be anybody. So, okay, so we, you, obviously we had uh, our last guest on who was right. passionate about baseball and helping kids. And you, according to your LinkedIn profile, love politics, right? So I you're do. always like, should I vote for Trump and all that stuff, right? Eh, not quite. Or right. something. <laughs> like, you're, like, you're always like thinking about what to do. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we actually came up with a, a handful of quotes here. And if you notice that the quotes don't have the names attached to them, right. we have five of them. And some are attributed to baseball players, and some are attributed to politicians. So we're going to give you a chance to guess at each one. So your very first one is, you all look like happy campers to me. Happy campers you are. Happy campers you have been. And as far as I am concerned, Happy campers you will always be. Do you think that is a politician or a baseball player? I think that's a politician. Lenny, show him <laughs> if he's right or wrong. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yell it out. <laughs> politician? OK. Dan Quayle. Ah, Dan Quayle. <laughs> it was a politician. That was a good one. All right, go on to the next one. You got one point. One point. Okay. So we'd like to avoid problems because when we have problems, we can have troubles. That's a baseball thing. That's definitely baseball. Oh, you let him influence you. Is that what you're thinking? No, I, I just thought. What do you guys think? Yell it out. It's baseball, right? Baseball. All right. Let's find out if you're right. Former oh. governor of Arizona. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Getting a little mixed up here. All right. So you got one on each side. So they shouldn't throw at me. I'm the father of five or six kids. <laughs> that's base. That's baseball. <laughs> It sounds more like NBA. Throw, yeah, throw in mud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sounds like NBA? Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? Baseball. Baseball? Okay. Yeah, all right. It's baseball. All right. <laughs> After getting hit by a pitch. You shouldn't, you shouldn't throw it at me. I got four could have been, kids. Could have been George Bush, though. Yeah, could have, right. could have been. Like, don't throw that mud at me. All right, don't look back. Something might be gaining on you. Do you think this could be a... Baseball coach talking to someone, or is a politician saying, I think go out there and don't look back? Baseball. All right, Lenny, what do we got? Baseball Sasha player. Hey. Good one. All right, I think we're up to the final yeah. one. OK, a zebra does not change its spots. That's Yogi Berra. That's got to be Yogi Berra, right? <laughs> oh, you even named the person? Yeah, I go to it. Oh, Al Gore. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, okay, so right. that's the Yogi Bear of, of politicians, though. So. The Yogi Bear of politicians. All right, well, thank you for coming to talk yeah. to us. Yeah. Um, if they want to check out the Cube, where can they go yeah. online? So it's uh, cube at midtown.com. We're actually going to build another Cube down here uh, with UNLV, hopefully. Oh, great. So it's going to be Cube at UNLV. Okay, Cube at UNLV. Come and um, so it's cube at midtown.com or at cube at midtown.com on the uh, Twitter. All right, don't so. change your spots. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to give it up for our guests. Cool, I'm looking forward to these cards.